We each carry as many bacterial cells in our gut as we carry human cells in our body. That means that there's a lot of potential from that microbiota to impact functions of the host. I think one of the most interesting parts is that the community that you carry is quite unique to yourself, different from the community that I carry, and it's also very stable. From your early adulthood, you have the same microbiota till when you're very old. The microbiome helps us digest our food, produce vitamins that we cannot produce ourselves, and it helps us also train the immune system, fight pathogens that would otherwise colonize our gut and cause disease. One of the environmental factors that impact the most the microbiome is clear that is medication. What we're interested to see is that what is the direct impact of the medication to the gut microbes. The very first time that we did that, we were astonished to see that many non-antibiotics actually directly target and inhibit the growth of many of the species that individuals carry. Those drugs are not built to target bacteria, they're built to target human cells and treat disease that is related to human cells. So we're quite surprised to see this kind of collateral damage. But so antibiotics clearly have a larger impact. All of the antibiotics that we have developed are broad spectrum. Of course, they target the pathogens that we want to treat, but as a collateral damage, they target some of the commensal microbes we carry also in our gut. And the question there becomes how you can mitigate some of those unwanted effects so you don't destabilize the community composition while taking antibiotics. And I think from a very basic perspective, creating model organisms for the gut microbiome can act as a basis for any exploration or any application that people use afterwards. Mm -hmm.